Alright, we should go talk to this guy, by the way. Talk. Uh, King. King Fluffy Buns. Go lucky guy. Great story. Don't remember it. Really? Not yet? Damn it! I thought it was time. Well, let's, let's leave. Oh, because I don't think I can buy any of the food. Actually, come to think of it. Uh, let's see. Hey, I can't buy crab apple. Can't buy any more. Well, that's fine. Well, let's get out of here. Okay. So we're going back to Hotland. Anime is real. Mm. I'd be really uncomfortable, honestly. But still, anime is real. I'm just going to insist upon this forever. This this is just this is just the thing. Anime is real. Accept it. Move on. Actually, don't move on. Just just keep watching anime. I guess I don't know. Watch good anime. Don't watch like really shitty anime. Like One Punch Man. And eventually when Boku no Hero Academia comes out, also that. Where the hell are they? Probably upstairs. Nope, never mind, we're in here. Where the f hell is this? Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! At EM te tether, stability lost! Altitude dropping! And... Dude is dead. <laughs> Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I'll create the power to free us all. I'll unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we'll have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it, using the blueprints. I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. True Laboratory. Buy chips for 25G. I didn't have enough gold. Alright. Well, let's go check this out. Check, uh, check this out. I can't do anything with that. Power Room. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Well, can't do anything with this. Okay. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn to dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might just be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned to dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them their dust back for funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? You turned on the sink. You turned off the sink. Well, that was about as productive as could be. Okay, it's some kind of operating table. It's sticky? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain, drop it. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a red-colored slot in the center. Okay. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Uh, 
Cell, you take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun! Okay. But nobody came. Refuse. That's a shame. Okay. I'm glad I, glad I brought extra food. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Spare, you won! Okay, there's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. Alright. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Alright. So that's one. I assume this is the same thing. Yep, same thing. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Oh, so that's one. Well, let's save, get our HP back. I assume I can go this way now? Yep, okay. So now what do we got over here? Entry number 12. Nothing's happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Sure. Oh boy. This is disconcerting. Oh. Well, time to get up. Okay, it's a fake plant. It's a bed. Okay, hey, we got another save point in here. Goody. Alright, what's this? Clock. Clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Well, let's save. Bedroom. Let's check this one next. Entry number 15. It seems like the research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls in the vessel back to Asgore, and I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow, happy face. Well, that's not a good plan. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Surprender! There's a green key lying on the bathtub. You took it and put it in your keychain. Okay. Ah, God damn it. What the hell's going on? I don't know. I don't. What the hell's up with chat right now? Uh oh boy, that's a thing. That was in the save file. Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Call. You called for help. Oh, what? Uh, welcome to my special hell. Um. Ow. I don't get. That hurt really bad. Lemon bread. Uh. Scream, probably. You screamed out, but nobody came. Stay here with me. Okay, there's one. This is two. Ow. Okay, uh, let's eat a hot dog. I'm gonna need to grind grind some for some more money. That's for certain. Okay. You really don't give you a whole lot of time on that one. Ow. Lemon bread. Uh let's see. Let's Okay, that's unhug. 
I'm gonna take damage from this. I don't feel like all of his attacks are dodgeable. And we're dead! Well, that's fine. Lemon Bread, not a fun character to fight. Well, at least this this will make the Temi, Temi armor really cheap. Oh, and we had a save file, uh, save spot right here. Okay. Well. Let's go back for this green key. Okay, there's green key lying in the bathtub. Put it in a keychain. Notice the giant machine in the middle. Remember the flower's mouth when he transformed? Yep. Oh, you're right. They do look similar. Okay. Yeah, lemon bread is kind of a pain in the butt. Not gonna deny that one. Alright. Sweet lemons. So... Let's flex. You flex your arm. Lemon bread... This muscle shakes. Ow, damn it. Ow. Uh, let's see. Hum. Let's try humming. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon Bread's body shakes. Oh, that, that got me something different. Okay. Let's keep humming. You hum a familiar tune, nothing happened. Okay. Oh, gonna take damage from that. Okay, then we need a hot dog. Absolutely. Okay. That's what they all say. Ah, fuck. We're gonna take hits from that one. God, it's so easy to take damage here. Act. Lemon bread. Um. Okay, so we hummed. Let's unhug? Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Ow. His teeth are brutal. He spawned right in the middle of them. Could this be goodbye? You won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. Lemon bread. Alright. DT extraction machine. Status inactive. Determination uh, extraction machine. Let's go back for a second. It doesn't look like I get attacked by anything normally, so it might not be a bad idea to go back and save. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside of it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Tape one. Psst. Gory. Wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Err, and why do you have that video camera? Shh. I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Mmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Ugh. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. Hee <laughs> hee. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Mm -hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Oh, this is a videotape of Asgore and Toriel. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like that, one day you could be the famous Momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. Tori, that one was funny. Uh-huh, I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night. Dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it is too dark in there for the video cam video to come out. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much with that one. Considering they're the only two characters that resemble each other. Okay, dude, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! Hee hee hee. Oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Oh, come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> okay, choose this tape to watch. Tape three. Howdy, dude. Smile through the camera. Ha, this is the time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. 
Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad, we made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off, like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Day four. I... I don't like this idea, dude. What? What? No, I, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, dude. Never. Y yeah. We'll, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Choose a date to watch. Day five. Dude, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Dude, you have to stay determined. You, you can't... you can't give up. You, you're the future of humans and monsters. Psst, dude, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, oh, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info on their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and I found these weird tapes. I don't really feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. So we need a yellow slot. Okay. So I'm not entirely sure why, dude was a, um, like, why the videos refer to dude, which confuses me a little bit. Um, it's a bed. It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a bed. Come on, one of these has to have it. Uh, let's see. It's still a bed. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yes. Okay, it's a yellow key. You put it on your keychain. Cool. Uh, let's save, just so we don't have to watch anything else again. Okay, but effectively, uh, the originally, uh, fallen human didn't, uh, didn't just fall sick. He killed himself with the buttercups, uh, which are the same flower as Flowey. Um, but his plan was to effectively kill himself, has a have Azrael take his soul, uh, and then they would go out, kill six humans, and, um, kill six humans... And then free the monsters. Fair enough. It's some sort of cold rectangular object. Hello. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Yeah, that's easy enough. Green key fits perfectly into the slot. I'm just gonna look around the room. Some kind of cold rectangular object. Okay, it's too dark to see near the walls. There's something here. Feels like a tree ripe with delicious fruit. Too dark to see near the walls. Too dark to see near the walls. I don't know if there's a light switch there, but all right. I think we got whatever we needed there. The only one left, I think, is blue. But yeah, so the main character, uh, the first human killed themselves. Azrael kind of didn't really like the idea, but whatever. Okay. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I work try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. I'm really surprised that these are- oh! There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yes! Does they get rid of the fog? Okay, so let's- Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, well that's fine. Well, I really have a choice on this one, do I? Wait, yes I do. Nope, but don't! Ah! Okay! It's Amalgamate. Act. Amalgamate. Check. Amalgamate. It's unclear how many dogs this... 
<laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Not okay with this. All right, amalgamate. Uh, play with amalgamate. Amalgamate is not excited enough to play with. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not okay with the hug. Okay, amalgamate. Uh, let's beckon it. You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you. Flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Holy shit, I'm not okay with this right now. It's totally just the dog... Dog noise. But it's terrible. Okay, so now we now we pet it. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. <laughs> Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. Amalgamate, play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping, amorphous body on you. <laughs> okay, just don't get hit again. We're good. Mercy. Nope. Fuck. Alright, we're not done yet. Eat the hot dog. Your HP was maxed out. I wonder if I had a stick if this would be easier. I don't know. Okay, Amalgamate is twitching effectively. Uh, affectionately. Okay, pet. You pet the Amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. I don't like this. Convulsions intensify. Amalgamate. Let's pet it some more. You pet decisively. The Amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all of this. Endogeny is contented. Check. Endogeny. It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that was an invul involuntary convulsion. Oh. 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 Alright, well, uh, it's, I think we got one wing left, probably. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Go back to the smoke room. Okay, I will. I didn't know if this is... Check. <laughs> you might notice. Look. <laughs> Act. Um. Mystify? You did something mysterious. Recognizes it as more to live from this world. What are you afraid of? Ah! 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 No! Eh! Okay, can I mercy any of it? No. Okay, so we've tried mystifying. Now let's pick on it. You pick on... It seems effective. Wash your hands, nothing happened. Ow! Okay, we need another hot dog. Get the hot dog, your HP was maxed out. I don't want it. I don't want it, man. I don't, I don't wanna. Okay. Uh, pray. 
You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, and courage. Okay. It's called Reaper Bird, and... Fuck. Alright, Reaper Bird seems placated. You won. You got nothing. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you freed. Okay, so yeah, we have to go back to that foggy room. I, fi I figured as much. Uh, let's see. But I wanted to check this way anyway, just in case it was it was there. Out of sheer laziness, mostly. Yeah, mostly laziness. Well, either way, we are we are so very close to done. I can smell it. It stinks. It smells like terror and wrongness. And well, I guess that I think that's kind of supposed to where this is supposed to be. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Actually, let's go back and read the notes. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup you found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. This one is a refrigerator. It's empty. No, it's not. Entry number 21. I spend all my time in the gar garbage dump now. It's my element. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's also empty. It's so cold. Amalgamate. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. Well, let's laugh. You laugh. And keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Snowy. It's so cold. Joke. You told a bad pun about the snow. Her expression starts to shift. Uh, I, I remember. Keep joking. Bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> Thank you. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. You found a blue key on the ground. You put it on her keychain. Okay. Huh. The teacup that looks like Elphis is visit visible on her desk in the upper lab. Wow. That's gonna... You know, I'm actually kind of surprised. Yeah, that, that last ghost was just really depressing. Um, I'm actually surprised that this was Elphis's... Like, Elphis was in here and doing stuff. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it was her predecessor or something, something like that, just because it, this doesn't quite fit Elphys' character. But I guess this explains why she's so timid and stuff. The blue key fits perfectly in the slot. Alright, well, we're not done yet. We've still got at least one area left. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get the true pacifist ending tonight, I can guarantee that. But, I can guarantee we're going to finish the, the true lab, just because. At the end, you only see four amalgamates, because memory heads aren't amalgamates. What about, uh, the one that tucked you in? Yeah, the one that tucked you in is totally the last one. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Seems to be also turned off. It seems like the, this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Hey, hey stop. I, I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. I got kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you're the one step ahead of me. 
This probably was just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into the dying monsters so their souls could last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted into those... Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been a horrific failure. But now, now, I've, I've changed my mind about all of this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. That's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'd all struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I'll know it will be a lot easier to stand than on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. <laughs> the human does really have a permanent look of just being done with everybody's shit. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Yep. Figured as much. Ring! It's a voice you've never heard before. Dude, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Dude, see you soon. Yeah.